In many ways, I feel public art is really the heart and soul of a city and when you encounter it, it makes you stop and be present rather than just moving through your day. It, uh, it makes you pause and yeah, be present and, uh, and connect to that moment. I've personally always been interested in the way that art can help to reimagine spaces and to get people talking about social issues. When we were starting to do this work, there were really no other organizations that were supporting the advancement of community-engaged public art across Canada. So we really saw a need there and we wanted to you know, support Canadians in really getting involved in shaping public spaces in their own communities. Uh, we also saw a role for us to play in bridging the conversation between city builders and artists and what really makes a vibrant community. Steps wouldn't be where it is today without the early support of the Centre for Social Innovation. Not only did they provide us with space and advisory support, but they really were integral in helping us earn the trust of early funders and supporters who helped us realize some of our largest projects to date. Our theory of change at the Center for Social Innovation is that when we remove the barriers to support organizations like STEPS, we're achieving our mission. Public art transforms neighborhoods, it transforms cities, it transforms our places, it transforms our land. It is an expression of human potential. It says we care about our community. It says the citizens of this place are invested in making it better. We always had a national mandate, but it was really during the pandemic when public spaces were among some of the only spaces where we could safely connect with each other, that we were able to demonstrate the role that public art can play in community building outside of just major cities. We were most well known for working on landmark mural projects and our portfolio has really expanded to doing more work uh, with other artistic forms from sculptural works to uh, light-based installations, functional furniture, um, and also integrating more AR and immersive technology into our work. We have really been an advocate for artists from really educating um, partners in uh, ensuring that artists are equitably paid and valued, as well as consistently looking at how we can build capacity of artists that are either emerging in their practice or new to public art or looking to expand into different materialities. Steps resets me to do like a workshop series with some youth spray painting. So this was also when I was a youth myself. <laughs> I was still like a younger person. So it was really cool to like work with them back then and see Steps grow as an organization and get bigger projects. Coming from a music background, I knew very little about the public art world and all the application processes and uh, everything that goes along with that, uh, the industry. And the residency um, provided me with a lot of useful information and knowledge and experience that would have taken me years to kind of discover on my own. As a female Asian female artist, I am personally very invested in increasing visibility and representation for underrepresented communities. And I believe that public art has the power to challenge the stereotype and foster a greater sense of belonging. What I think is amazing about STEPS is it's continued to evolve its offerings, its programs, its initiatives to really be able to look at arts and culture in cities from a holistic perspective. If you want to create a cultural plan, if you want to create a mural, if you want to engage the community in thinking about the future and the vision, if you want to put up hoarding, so many different ways that you can connect with STEPS and with art to create a beautiful community space. I think public art is an inherent part of Canadian cities. It's incredibly important for us to be able to use art to connect, to honor, to remember, to celebrate, to critique the spaces and places and 
initiatives that happen all around us. And so I don't see public art ever leaving our cities and I think the more that we can invest in creating public art in our communities, the better off we'll be.